family it's the mobile home diva coming to you with another video in today's video i'll be discussing my work from home experience with amazon this is a highly requested video i've gotten so many questions about working from home and working for Amazon. And so I just wanted to come on and share my experience with you. But before I get into the video, I just want to say thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. On this channel, it's mobile home living and mobile home lifestyles. I do mobile home tours. I vlog my life and I answer questions from my subscribers. So if that interests you, welcome to the family. All right, so I recently had a subscriber that said they also work for Amazon and would I share my experience? They wanted to know what it's like working um, days because they work nights and also what it's like working from home. So this isn't the first time I've been asked this question. I'm always asked because I've mentioned in other videos that I work for Amazon or that I work from home. I've, uh, I've mentioned that I work from home and had subscribers ask where I work from. And I'm very honest. I can tell you that I'm not going to tell you a lot about my Amazon work um, because um, this, isn't, this video isn't sponsored by Amazon, first of all. There is not a secret. I work for Amazon. Um, work for I work from for Amazon in virtual customer service. That means that we don't have an office. Everybody that works for virtual customer service works from home. That includes um, managers, customer service associates, IT, human resources, etc. Um, I have an administrative position. I'm not going to share what that position is, but I do have an administrative position. I am not a customer service associate. I started as a customer service associate and I have worked, held different positions at Amazon. And um, I basically have a set time to work. I work actually working for virtual customer service. You're on Pacific time. Um, so I go to work at 4 a.m. Pacific, which is 7 a.m. Eastern where I live. I work 7 to 4 my time, but on Amazon's clock, I work 4 a.m. to 1 p.m. If that makes sense. Um, I like working from home, but I struggle working in a virtual space. And the reason that I struggle working in a virtual space is because I am a real people person. I like getting up every day and going into work I like being around coworkers. I like giving hugs. I like sharing um, coffee. I like um, just overall communication and I really struggle in this space. And I've talked to my supervisor on several occasions and she agrees that she thinks that I would really thrive in that type of environment. So who knows what's next? Honestly, working from home has a lot of perks, right? You're not in traffic. You're not commuting from one side of town to another. If you if you live in Atlanta or in the surrounding areas like I do, I live right off of Highway 75. Traffic is terrible. I don't care what end of 75, 285, 20, or 85 you live on. Traffic is terrible. So you don't have to worry about the commute. You don't have to worry about buying gas couple times a week. Um, my car is really good on gas. I gas up once every two weeks. If I do a little traveling in my car, if I'm just working, I, I never gas up or if my husband uses my car, then I have, to, one of us has to gas up. But working and commuting, I would definitely probably have to gas up twice a week. I know because I've commuted across Atlanta before and it was it's I don't care how good your car is on gas you're going to be constantly gassing up so that's one thing off my plate buying lunch whether it's at work or shopping for lunch I don't have to worry about that I do the normal grocery shopping um I eat what whatever's here I don't have to make sure 
that I have lunch items um, for myself. For my husband who works the overnight shift, whatever I cook for dinner is going in his lunch bag, so I'm not buying extra from he, for him. But if I was gone throughout the day on a regular job, I would have to make sure that we both had lunch. So, um, or both had something to eat. So that's another worry off my plate. Um, some days having to clock in at seven, I roll out of bed at 6.45 and clock in before I brush my teeth or have my coffee. And I could go back and forth, right? I can run to the restroom and, and wash my face, brush my teeth on a 15 minute break. I can take a shower. I can grab coffee whenever I feel like it. Um, and it's really nice to work from home. I love it. Um, Please um, don't ask me about referring you because I can't do that. Um, I'm in a position where um, I, I'm not, I don't hire, right? But I'm in a position where um, I'm not going to be able to refer you. And I'm not going to refer people that I don't know. And I, I don't want to be mean, but um, it, it's one of the reasons that I don't share a lot about my job because people automatically say, Ooh, can you help me get on, on or can you help me get a job? Um, anybody interested in, in inquiring to Amazon or um, applying for a position would need to go to the Amazon um, website. You can Google Amazon work from home and you're welcome to apply. Um, but I can't tell you much um, past that. Um, as far as my experience has been, I've been with Amazon almost five years. And it's been an, a wonderful experience. Amazon is a great company to work for. Um, they have um, all the perks of any job, right? Benefits, 401k, um, paid time off, etc. as a full-time employee. Um, but the people that I work with are amazing and it's really been wonderful to be a part of a customer centric environment. Our owner, Jeff Bezos has made working for Amazon the best place in the world to work for because it's all about our customers, right? No place in the world takes care of their customers like Amazon. So it's really been a joy. Um, I don't really have a whole lot outside of that to share about my experience um, with working for Amazon. Um, it's just a great place to work for. You know, you get to process improve, you get to, you get to change the world one customer at a time. And so my customers are actually internal customers, right? Other employees at Amazon. But we're still taking care of our customers. Customer service customers are external. They're the customers that call in. I get to be a part at sometimes of that process as well. And it's amazing. So, so yeah, if you're interested in Amazon or if you work for Amazon and you're interested in doing something different, I would say go for it. Um, if you work for Amazon, there is a site and you will know the site that you can go to and inquire about positions, whether they are in another building, another physical location, or if they're in virtual customer service. Um, and if you're outside of Amazon, even indeed in different places like that have actual Amazon postings. So, um, yeah, that's my experience working for Amazon.